everybody, I'm Attorney of Laws, and last time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we, uh, did some, uh, investigating around the research lab, and, uh, well, I got Marip down to, uh, the heart gauge down, and while off-screen, uh, when I came back, I fought the Hexagon Brothers again. I got Vaporeon to level 19, its moves didn't change. Marip to level 17, I'm about to purify it. And, uh, Zex evolved! So, uh, so yeah, when you get Puchan up to 18, it evolves into Mighty Young. That's all that happened, uh, I'm going to now purify Mareep and give it its nickname and all that crap. Here we go! See, we gain the move, Body Slam, which has a, I think, 10% chance of paralyzing the opponent, so yay, and Heal Bell. And, Marip could level 19, me 18. Marip could level 19, let's hope he doesn't get too much more levels, because I don't want to be over-leveled. Crap. <laughs> Alright, level 20. Alright, that's good enough. And Marip is evolving! Congratulations, your Murray evolved into Flaffy. Or Flaffy. Yay for getting letters. Flaffy obtained a ribbon. Yes, I like to nickname Flaffy. This is in dedication of YouTube user Night Night One, uh, who always bugs me when he gets Murray on Pokemon Soul Silver version. Where's the. Oh, wait, I'm looking for someone else. This smirk Flaffy shall now be known as Bashak. Uh, names and dedication him, that's always that's what he always and I mean always names his rapes. Alright, so now that Bashak's level 20, I'm gonna put Zex out there since Bashak's over leveled. Now I'm gonna cut back to the research station, so see you guys. And we're back. And uh by the way, I had a... Uh, Called in uh, AK, I bought some more Pokeballs and potions and stuff. Like I bought like, ten more Pokeballs and like, seven more potions and like, five more super potions. So it should be set for a bit. All right, up there we see an item. If you, well, it was on the elevator only, but go down here. See what's down here. Or up here. Ah, healing station. So ah, uh, hold it, hold it. If you want to pop open that chest, you have to beat me first. Gets me every time. Except for Pig Pion Digor. He's a Digor. Digor. Alright, Abra Machop. It's kinda of weird how they still reuse these sprite like these animations for Battle Revolution. And all the whole Pokemon that were in like Stadium. <laughs> these sprites are from there. So it's kinda of weird to see like 64 kind of best sprites on GameCube or even Wii. Alright, Abra's using Ice Punch. Kind of weird. And on Vaporeon, no less. So a Pokemon that has really high special attack decides to use an Ice type move on uh, a Water type. When you could use a Psychic type move. Ah oh, well. This would make would have made less sense in the fourth generation because Ice Punch is physical in that game. Alright, so Abra's dead. Yeah, Phoebus! Oh my god, it's a Shadow Phoebus! I can't wait to get a Milotic! No, it's just regular Phoebus. Even though I already have a water type, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, water gun on my chop. Bite on Phoebus. I seriously need to get a padlock for my room. Anyway, after that battle, which uh, I just beat up Phoebus up, and then I beat up Malakuhita, and I seriously should step doing that when I cut, but oh well. In here is an ether. Now let's get on our way. Try not to be distracted for the rest of the episode. Alright. Now I healed up, so yeah. Alright, now let's continue this way. 
Huh? What if it's a tiny little intruder? Crank. That's a nice name. Hey guys, well, you know, it's Crank, you know? You know, like Crank? He's my friend, his name is Crank. Ah, I'd be ashamed to have a friend named Crank. Alright, for Proyon's X. Let's see. Let's use Water Gun and Snow, it's regular damage. And Zexy's bite. Ha! Ah, you flinched! Alright. Now I should do the same thing. And you're dead. Alright, Brian's almost level 19, I mean level 20, and Sex is almost level 19. We're doing good. Doing good. And, uh, just trying to see the time, how much time I have left on this thing, because, uh, because it cut, and I really didn't know how much time I had left on it, because it's separated, but oh well. Alright. Here we have super, three super potions, and there's another trainer up there. Nah, uh, there's... Okay, there's nothing else up here, so let's just go up here and fight this dude. Hmm? This is no place for a child to be sightseeing! I love how they automatically assume I'm just sightseeing and not, like, trying to invade their place. And I'm not that young. Alright, we got Spoink, and... Lotan. Oh, that should be easy. Oh, uh, yes, I forgot to say. I mean, uh, even though it's probably was prevalent before, but Zex has Intimidate now, and it has every opponent's attack power when Zex comes out in battle. So that's a really good ability, even though these Pokemon out here are special, or specially built, but whatever. It's better for the future. Alright, so let's head fainted. How are you? Speaking of starting with Starmie, uh, well, not really speaking of Starmie, but like the first generation had a really, like, when you think about it, the first gen had a lot of uncreative Pokemon. Like, people say like nowadays, like nowadays Pokemon are uncreative. <laughs> Didn't even have to answer it. Anyway, but uh, we have Pokemon Grid all twenty, and uh. And Sex Girl 19 now. Well, you say a lot of Pokemon from nowadays get uh, uncreative. Well, I'm just thinking of Staryu and Starmie. Yeah, that's another star with colored purple. And Magnemite and Magneton is three, ma is three Magnemites. Muck is just a bigger Grimer. I mean, Dodrio is just the same thing as Dodo except with another head. It's kind of a. Well, back then it was called creative, creative, but like nowadays you think it's kind of creative. And there's not actually cries for Pokemon. Like the sounds they make uh, are quite similar. Because of Goldeen and Caterpie, if you can listen to it, they have the same exact cry. And I think it's Poliwag and Ditto. They also have the same exact cry as each other. So talk about uncreative. All right. And I think Sea Kings and Scythers are the same, except for one sped up a little bit more. I'm not too sure on that one. I think so. Anyway, let's right left, right left, right left, right left. Let's go left. Oh, uh, now we have another choice. All right, now my opponent's all twenty. Switch my opponent for Bashak. Have you heard? Portisep XD One's final adjustments are behind schedule at headquarters. They can get Crane to give up details about his purification study. All XD One's problems should be solved in one fell swoop. I think so too, but he sounds quite obstinate and tight-lipped about the whole thing. I heard Love Raina's getting incensed over this. Uh-oh, we didn't notice there's a kid five feet from our faces! 
got El Rock. Talking to El Fire, El Wind, and El Fire. Thunder. Yeah. El Fire and Wind over there. If it's Fire Blue, why not? Why not? Because why not? That's how that'd be such a known Pokemon. Alright, we got Intimidate up. Oh. That's just Thundershock on Swabu and Bite on Wynop. And... Aw, oh, come on, so close. T-Shock. And so close. Sort of. Ah, oh, he's using Growl when I'm using a special type moves. Thanks. And that safeguard that present that prevents them from being paralyzed, burned, whatever. Alright, just kill that. And we have Corsola. That's just Thunder Shock! It's super effective! Alright, Thunder Shock Bite. <clears throat> what the hell, like, about Rock types you can hit? Rock types with Thunder. Which I didn't learn until 4th generation of Pokemon, but you just can't hit Ground types with Thunder, so. But yeah. <laughs> Kinda cool. Alright, here we go. Alright, you beat a rock. Beaten by a kid. Snooping as usual, I see. Busy, I'll let you go today, so go on without any fuss, okay? Nope. Not good at battling, but now is not the time to be telling you that. And why are you telling me that? His name is Coffee. And he says, oh, just talk some window. Yeah, great team you got there, guy. Alright, Bashok and Zex. And Intimidate gets that up. Alright, so let's... Thundershock can completely destroy Wingo. So it says times four with Electric. And it did decent damage. And... That did crap! That'd be funny if that was one of the options for like a sci-fi effective. Uh, it'd be funny if it's like a, after you see that, you just see like a, it did crap. That'd make my day. I want to see a Pokemon hack that does that. Like instead of saying not very effective, just say it did crap. Right. Uh, let's see. Body slam, right on. Body slam, dust tox. Yeah, thunder shock, dust tox, and then we'll. Oh, well, yeah, time going, though, so I didn't do anything. Holy crap, that actually. Like, that's it, like, three times more than I would expected it to. Jeez, Zach, you're just impressing all over the place. Oh, I thought it was gonna be dumb and using on Zex. Quillfish. Fun fact, uh, back in Gold and Silver, the text was kind of hard to read, like you're small, and I didn't do classes back then. Well, I still do, that's why I remember. But I always thought that said owlfish, so I'm like, what the heck is an owlfish? And then I finally saw the little, like, two pixel line for a Q they had back then. Ah, memories. Come here, you little owlfish. Oh. 
Uh oh, you're raising your defenses when I'm using two special moves. Exactly. Alright, you're dead. Just thought, thought I'd let you know that. Alright, Bashak Rear level. And Zex Rear level. Now, this is uh, the thing we're going to make progress on here today. Uh, these episodes are going to probably take a while. I think this, ep this let's be able to be around 70 plus parts, like around there. Like around double of what Star Fox Adventures was. Here we have an item. Uh, next time on Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, we will hopefully finish up the research station and uh, possibly fight the first boss.